getting familiar with Tatsu Page Builder. So Tatsu is basically just the page builder that is used to build each one of your pages. Uh, each one of your pages, they might be similar, they might be completely different, but the majority of them will be built with the page builder. So I thought I would kind of start by just giving you um, a little overview of the page builder which will help you if you want to swap out images, swap out edits, um, make, you know, changes to your site. So if you open a page and click on edit in Tetsu, it will open to this page here. On the right hand side, you will see the live view of your website. You can scroll all the way down. On the left hand side, you kind of see the bones of your site. You see each section, if you click on it, it highlights this section. If you click on this one, it highlights this section. And then each section is built of rows and columns. So for example, in this header section, there are four columns. If I click on here, I can hit the red X and I can remove the image and replace it with a new one. Same goes for this column, this column, and this column. And then down here, we have some text I could edit. We have another row with four individual images. We have another row with two columns. So basically anything that you want to edit, you just hover over it and click. And it kind of shows over here in this area. keep going down the whole page, you can kind of see all the different options for editing. Now let's say that you wanted to add a new section or you wanted to add something completely new to the page. If you click on this little eye up here, goes back to kind of the bones of the site. You see all your sections. You can click on here and you can click add section. And there's some like little pre-designed sections that you can use or choose from. Sometimes I use those. Sometimes I just, most of the time I just build. Um, you can also choose view more templates and then there will be a few more pre-made one pre-made sections that um, show up here sometimes if i have used things on your website repeatedly like similar um, sections on different pages they might be in your saved templates um, and that just you can use one of those and you know start from there so let's say I wanted to add I don't know a section like this like layout and it doesn't you don't have to keep all of this you know this is like obviously for an about page but you can just make it for any page so then you're gonna load it in there and obviously it loads down here at the bottom let's say I obviously want to move it to the top so you're gonna go back to your bones you're gonna take this one from the bottom and you're just gonna drag it up to the spot where you want it let's say I want it there under my header then from here you can either edit this you can edit that or if you don't want that there you just completely remove it 
um, you can obviously then edit all this text here. You can click on these little icons and then over here there's going to be three sections and it's um, the actual content. So this is what your icon looks like. You would click on here. You can choose a bunch of different, you want it to be a price tag. So you can click that. Um, if you want it to link somewhere, you can type in your link here. If you want it to open on a new tab, which is what I normally choose if, it's, if, you, if the client will be exiting your website, um, you can choose that here. Then there's another tab for style. You can choose a different size for your icons. You can choose if you want them in a just plain or in a circle or in a square. You can choose if you want them over in the center or back on the side. Then you can choose obviously the color. Um, if you go into palette, your website branding palette will be saved in here. So you don't have to guess on the colors. They're already in here and you can just click on whichever one that you want and change it to that. Now, if you want to use something, some of them, depending on how many colors you have, white or black, whatever, might not be saved in your branding palette. If that's the case, you can just go to swatch and you can choose one of these two or you can go to solid and here you can put in your hex code for any color. Then you can click on here and you can change it to, right now it's obviously gold. If I want this to be, oh, I want it to be gray when I hover over it. So do that and it changes that. So perfect, that looks great. So then we would go on to the next one and we could obviously make it extra large, yada, yada, yada. Go through the whole thing. Um, same goes for these headers. So you will already have different headings set in the back end of your site. So um, if you go to, or if you highlight this and go up here to this T, this will pop up and you will already have different sizes that I've already used throughout the site. Those need to stay how they are unless you want them to change throughout your site. So and the H1 makes it little, the H2 a little bigger, H3 looks like that for me, H4, H5, H6. So depending on what you want it to look like, you can hover those or you can just have it be your plain, your body text. If it's on nothing, it's going to be your, the body text. But let's say I wanted it to be this script, but wow, that looks too small right there. You can customize it over here in the corner on your, on the style tab. You can go to typography. You can click on this and you can say, I want it to be 90. Okay, well then that kind of messed up the spacing here. That's because it's already, it's still set to what this says height wise. So then I'm gonna go down here and I'm gonna say, I want it to be 90 height. That makes it a little better. I want a little more spacing. I'm gonna do 100 height. So now we have that. Now, oh, we have it 90, but when we see what it looks like on mobile, that's gonna look really huge on mobile. So now to customize it for that, we can go back on mobile. We can go back to our text and let's say we want it to be 55 on mobile and 55 height. And that looks better. Same thing for iPad. Oh, yep, really big on iPad. Maybe we want it 40 on iPad. 
40. Great, that looks better. And then do we see how from desktop, it automatically adjusts on the iPad for a better version of the columns? Because if they were split down the middle, really small picture, long text. So then, so this, you know, so this is set good, looks good on the desktop. And then, yep, looks pretty good on the next size, like laptop size. Let's make this a little bit smaller. 60 here, 60 here. Great, that looks good. Now let's go to the iPad. Maybe we want our image that's a little obnoxious. So we can go up here, we can go to style and we can, maybe we want our image 50. So we can pull our image down there. Now this is obviously right up to the edge, which I don't like. Yours probably won't be because it already fixed that, but if you make a new one, this might happen. So then what you're gonna do is you're gonna go back up here and you're gonna click, make sure you're in where it says section and you're gonna to go to advanced, and right here is where you can control the spacing. So for iPad, I always do 8%, and that's gonna bring you in 8% from the side. iPad, I always do 70 top of the section, 70 bottom, but that just go, you know, that just lets you see how customized. You can also drag this up. You can't drag over here from the side, but um, these little sections, you can also, you know, drag up and adjust as well. So that is kind of just an intro into Tetsu. Of course, I am always available to help you guys out with anything or answer any questions that you have if you kind of get stuck. Um, but that's kind of how you can, you know, customize your pages or, you know, make some changes on your own without relying on someone else every time.